What's up guys, my name's Brandon and iOS 13.3.1 Beta 1 was released about two weeks ago now and I wanted to make this update video to just kind of let you guys know how it's been running for me and also how it's been running for you guys based on the comments, my social media replies and things like that. So I'm not going to beat around the bush here. iOS 13.3.1 needs a lot of work and I understand it's in the first beta stage but still it's a point of a point update. It should not be as buggy as it currently is. And it's not even just the lack of existing bug fixes that makes this update disappointing, it's also the fact that this update is nearly identical to iOS 13.3. There's really nothing different between 13.3 and 13.3.1 besides pretty much the build number and just some added bugs, like more bugs that we didn't have in iOS 13.3. Now granted it does fix some issues for some people, so I guess it's good for some people that had like connectivity issues with Wi-Fi. But for the most part, 13.3.1 is nearly identical to 13.3 and we didn't get any of the major fixes yet that we were expecting in this update. Now one of the biggest issues with iOS 13.3.1, one of the biggest bugs right now is the phone call echoing bug. And this happens to, I think, everybody that has installed 13.3.1, which is super unfortunate because it is extremely annoying. And I noticed this after like two days of using it on my iPhone 11 Pro Max here. So basically the issue is when you make a phone call, that could be a voice call, like just a regular phone call or FaceTime, the person on the receiving end will hear their own voice and like an echo. And this doesn't happen every single time, which is what's weird because I've you know done tons of tests on this. I've called people and tested this out myself. It doesn't happen every single time, but like 80% of the time it happens, like four out of five times pretty much it will happen. And this is something that very much affects me because I use my phone on speakerphone for pretty much every single phone call. Unless it's like an interview or like a business call, I'm pretty much gonna be on speakerphone. And if I'm not on speakerphone, I do have my AirPods in, but I don't always have my AirPods in. So it's really annoying the fact that we have this echoing issue and sometimes you'll even hear your own echo on the phone call as well. However, I don't think that that is specific to 13.3.1. That could just be an issue with something else like the, the carrier or just maybe even iOS 13.3. I'm not sure, but the main issue here is the echoing on the other end, the other person hearing their voice because you're on 13.3.1. And I've had, once again, tons of people report this to me, so I'm pretty sure now that it's not just me. Now, another issue that I've just recently started noticing, and I don't think this was an issue on 13.3, but that has to do with the mail application and mail not showing new emails until you go back to mailboxes right here and then go back into your inbox. And it may have even just happened there. I'm not sure I wasn't really paying attention to the screen on my iPhone, but basically the reason I know that this is happening is because I notice I kind of memorize the number down there in my badges. So I see, you know, when that 84 goes to like 86 or 87 or something like that, I know that I have new emails. So when I open it up and I don't see any new emails, it's confusing. And you know, sometimes I'll have to open it and then go out of it and I'll see that number change. So I'm like, oh, okay, I just loaded up new emails, but I'll go in and nothing will show up until I go back to mailboxes and then go back into inbox or whatever, you know, mail I'm using, whatever mailbox I'm using, and then it will show the email. So that's a bug that I believe is new in 13.3.1 that is very, very annoying. And of course, I do still have the issue with the text messages not sending notifications every time on my lock screen or when I'm unlocked. So it happens mostly when my phone is locked. I'll get a text and my phone won't light up. I won't get a noise. I won't get a vibration. I won't get anything, any indication that I just got a text message or an iMessage, which obviously is very annoying. I get a lot of texts. I send a lot of texts in a day. So I want to be notified when I get a new text message and I'm not getting that with 13.3.1. But once again, this is just unresolved from previous versions of iOS because it was the same case with 13.3, which is very, very annoying. I even had my grandpa call me and tell me that this was an issue for him. He called me asking for advice. I said, hey, I reported it to Apple. That's pretty much all I can do. But I know that a lot of people are having this issue as well with your text message notifications not coming through and basically not sending you a notification when you should be. Now, as for the battery life, battery life for me has been okay. It's been a little bit lower. I've noticed that's a little bit worse than iOS 13.3, but that's pretty much expected with a beta one. So I was not really, you know, docking 13.3.1 for that. But some people are saying that battery life is just horrible. Like it drains super fast. And this is kind of, you know, I'm kind of numb to these comments now because I get these no matter what. You know, Apple can introduce the best battery saving, like the best battery update of all time and like double your battery life. And people will still say, oh, it kills my battery in 10 minutes. So 
I'm kind of just numb to people's comments now about bad battery life because a lot of times it just comes down to the user. But battery life for me has been just a little bit worse than 13.3, but nothing too, too major. Basically just what you would expect going from a public release to a beta. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen this tweet right here where I talked about 13.3.1 not being too great. And uh, I've had some people in here also reply and leave some comments. This is another area where I kind of gather your guys' thoughts and your guys' issues as well, and not just mine. You can see the first reply there from Noah says, I've been having some freezing issues. So I've not had any freezing issues on any of my devices, including my iPad Pro. My iPad Pro has actually been more stable than my iPhone. So iPad OS 13.3.1 has been better than iOS 13.3.1 for whatever reason. But uh, freezing issues, I've not had any of those. Let me know if you guys also have freezing issues. I have not experienced that in quite a while with the betas. You know, iOS 13 has kind of gotten a lot better with freezing, but apparently some people are still having that. You can see Vladimir here says that it's also killing his battery life. So once again, going back to the battery life comments, a lot of people are gonna be saying it's great. A lot of people are gonna be saying it's bad. People asking how to downgrade. Somebody having no issues. So it's good to read people having no issues there. And somebody right here says that Facebook is crashing so if you guys have an issue with facebook i have read a few things about facebook and whatsapp specifically having some issues so if you are having facebook crashing i've not had that and i use facebook multiple times a day and i've not noticed any type of crashing so maybe try reinstalling that or something because it's not doing that for me and you can see here somebody else also talking about a buggy third-party application with like twitter and also whatsapp basically saying it's making his phone heat up as well and it's buggy. Uh, so very interesting notes there. And then of course it is always refreshing down there seeing Batman saying that his battery is actually really good for once. So some people are getting better battery life. Again, it's just gonna be a mixed bag for a lot of people. I mean, the bugs are really the only thing that's not gonna be a mixed bag because most people experience the same bugs on these software updates, but battery life and connectivity are kind of just very variable and just you know vary from person to person, from device to device. Now, one thing I did wanna mention real quick is that Apple Music, I do have some issues with Apple Music and I've had this going for a while and I've just never mentioned it in a video. I guess I just always forget to mention it, but sometimes when I go to music and I start pressing play, once I press play, I have to wait like a minute before the song starts playing. And sometimes it will just skip to the next song for no reason. And I try this on Wi-Fi and cellular, so it's not an issue with my connection. So for some reason, Apple Music is just very, very slow. And this happened on 13.3 as well. But as for the battery life and the performance over the past two weeks, it's been fine for the most part for me. Like I said, battery life is slightly worse than 13.3, of course, because that was an official release and this is a beta but performance is pretty much the same. And I'm not accounting for the bugs. When I talk about performance, I don't really account for the bugs uh, because obviously if you account for the bugs, every update would be terrible performance. But performance-wise, just going in and out of applications, applications freezing and things like that, everything's running perfectly fine for me. I've not had any freezes or issues like that but we still do need some major work in terms of fixing all those bugs that I mentioned earlier. And as for connectivity, connectivity is perfectly fine for me, both Wi-Fi and LTE. Some people reported Wi-Fi issues, but once again, I think that has more to do with your router and some issues you need to sort out there, not just you know the iOS version. So anyways, when can we expect a new beta? Because unfortunately, this was beta one. Now, it doesn't really make any sense to do a beta release of 13.3.1, especially since it didn't fix like the, you know, the issues with the communication limits in 13.3, the bypass for that and things like that. So that leads me to believe that there will be a second beta for 13.3.1. I hope not, but I do think there is going to be a second beta. We will probably be seeing that on the week of January 6th right here. So either the 6th or the 7th is a very good possibility of getting either 13.3.1 beta 2 or even possibly the final release of 13.3.1, which I actually hope is the case. Now, one thing to note about those dates is that I will actually be out of town. I'm actually gonna be at CES in Las Vegas for that whole week of the 6th there. Now, I will still try to cover it because I am gonna bring my video gear and my laptop and things like that. So I will hopefully get that video out to you guys. No guarantees, and I definitely won't be the first one on YouTube just because I'm gonna be super busy with everything going on at CES, but I am definitely wanting to cover this for you guys. So if anything releases then, and of course I will have some pre-recorded videos coming out that week as well, but I just wanna let you guys know I am gonna keep you up to date even though I won't be as quick as I normally am because I'll be at CES. So if you're gonna be there or if you live in Vegas, let me know on Twitter, DM me or something like that. I always like meeting up with you guys and you know chatting with you guys and things like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for iOS 13.3.1. Overall, a pretty disappointing update. Again, I mentioned this in my original video on 13.3.1, and I was gonna make a one week later follow-up, but nothing really changed and nothing really got better, so I needed to make another update to let you guys know that things really aren't too great 
and that we can expect another beta update the following week. Because I know some people are still confused, thinking, why are we still not getting an update? It's been two weeks. Why do we not have updates? And that's just because Apple doesn't work on the holidays. And of course, we had back-to-back -back holidays with Christmas and New Year. So once again, the sixth is the next working week. And that's probably when we can expect the next update. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up as always. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe so you don't miss the next beta release or public release, maybe, hopefully, on the week of the 6th. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you soon.